What is it, Senator? I, I wish to request an adjournment. An adjournment? We just got here. My client has been in custody for a month, wasn't allowed to contact counsel until yesterday. General Hunter, a delay will only serve to prolong the nation's sorrow. My learned colleague, you've had over four weeks to prepare your case, no doubt assisted by the entire War Department. I believe the defendant is entitled to equal consideration. Senator Johnson, our fellow citizens must be permitted to put this tragedy to rest. Okay. The sooner we dispose of this matter, the better, for everyone. Everyone but my client. <laughs> Judge Advocate Holt, please proceed. In that case, I move for termination. <laughs> termination? On the grounds this trial is unconstitutional. The defendant is a civilian entitled to a public trial before a jury of her peers. The attorney general has affirmed the legitimacy of this proceeding. Has he furnished a verdict as well? <laughs> Senator, you will mind the horror which summons us. Indeed, we all mourn the loss of our leader. But in our grief, let us not betray our better judgment and partake in an inquisition. Inquisition? How dare you? It sounds to me like we have the enemy among us. Maryland not being among our most loyal of states during the war, its senator ought to certify his allegiance to this court. I have served this nation as its attorney general. That is certification enough. Nevertheless, we may require counsel to sign this oath of loyalty as prescribed by Congress. I am a member of Congress, the same body that creates armies, authorizes military tribunals, and makes major generals like you. Our authorization comes from the War Secretary, Edwin Stanton, and by order of the President. If our founding fathers had desired tyranny to prevail, the President and his War Secretary would have been granted such indiscriminate powers, but they drafted a constitution with laws against such powers. They did so precisely for times like this.